Alright guys, today I would like to show you a little something that I've been working on in Godot. Uh, here you see a level that I've created. And you might be thinking to yourself, man, this, this looks pretty strange. This, it doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Well, let me tell you, that's because I didn't create this level. This level was programmed by my code using something called procedural generation. Most of you probably know what that is, but I just, I've gotten into it recently, I think, it, I, I think it's really fascinating. Every time the level is loaded in, a, a computer or a walker algorithm places tiles down randomly in a certain radius, and uh, it means that I can build levels without actually having to put in any of the effort, and just letting the computer do it for me like a lazy person. Uh, there are heaps of different advantages to this such as, uh, well, me being able to just uh, have an endless mode perhaps for my game in which the enemies spawn in automatically, as you can see. Uh, some of the enemies are just floating in the void, and that's a bit of a problem, and there are probably too many of them at this point, but uh, it's, it's a start. All these enemies also spawn randomly, they don't have fixed locations. I attach that to their... Uh, their spawning script. Uh, oh no, I'm stuck in a hole. And I'm dead. Alright, well, anyway, the purpose of this video is just to show you guys that I've been working on this this little system here of uh, procedural level generation. Um, it, I can adjust the maximum and minimum y value for the blocks. So if I wanted to make this level two times higher, I could do that pretty easily in code. Speaking of code, I'm going to show you the code for this right now. If we come into this script over here, we have all of this, uh, all of this code, and um, this I, I I copied most of this from another YouTuber who I'm going to link in the description, and I changed some stuff like here to suit my my 3D needs. Uh, because I've seen a lot of tutorials for Godot 3D procedural level generation, but not much for 2D level generation. And uh, if I wanted to have any sort of variation in the altitude or the height of the blocks, I had to put in this code myself. And I'm pretty happy with the way it works. Anyway, I think that's, that's all uh, for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did happen to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and uh, comment something, maybe, maybe you know, even a suggestion for the name of this game. And uh, uh, if you if you like, click one of these videos on that you see on screen right now. And I hope you're having a lovely day.